the truth again and again and again. He was painting Maine uh, in the most negative light, which is very unfortunate to see the chief executive doing that. He should be our chief salesman, our chief cheerleader, uh, not uh, slamming the state. And, uh, and he was short on specifics. As, as a member of the taxation committee, I really hope to see uh, some detail about his pension proposal. He's talked about that again and again. We saw nothing tonight in that respect. Uh, a great deal of distortion, uh, principally of the tax cuts that were enacted as part of the last budget. Uh, he referred to them as, as, uh, as wonderful and as helping the, the middle class and working Mainers. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. Uh, the bottom 20% gets an average of $7 a piece from those tax cuts, and the top 1% receives an average of $3,000. So $7, $3,000, you know, I, I think that's a little unfair. Uh, evidently, the governor disagrees. Uh, but he didn't get into that, you know, he, 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 as we're hearing again and again, he talked about the 70,000 Mainers who supposedly are going to be dropped from the income tax rolls. Well, a couple things, you know, that, that does not account for the, the five, uh, maybe the five dollars that they receive in benefits for income tax because they don't have a lot of tax liability to begin with. So let's say, you know, you, you have five dollars less in income taxes, but then you're paying more in property taxes because what we're doing is cutting aid to the towns, we're cutting back on the school and your property taxes go up and pretty soon you're paying hundreds of dollars more there. So the shift is really what I'm concerned about. And uh, by just focusing on income taxes, we don't go there. Our tax code is very inequitable now. Uh, the governor's taking us in the wrong direction in that respect. We need to put money in the pockets of working Mainers and, and the middle class. What think of the governor's speech? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it's kind of an authentic, honest day that we speak. You know, he's not the, he's not a real polished guy, and that never comes through, but there's a sense in him that you're getting, you know, what you see is what you get. What about uh, the things in the speech? I, I, I thought, he, you know, with the energy, he's right on. And, and he comes from backgrounds that understand us. I stood, uh, I was with him when he was uh, campaigning for governor, and I worked at a personal paper company. And he came in there, and it was really amazing. You know, having been a candidate, I've had these guys walk through the mill before. He actually was having a conversation with these mill directors, and it was as if he, as if he worked at the plant. He understood the intricacies of what it meant, how they were off the shifting power off and on, and, and the grid and all that. And, you know, and I think he's right on about hydropower. I mean, hydropower, this is how we built this thing. You got this one of our natural resources. It's one of our great uh, things, is our ability to harness water power. when the discussion was uh, domestic violence. I think we can agree with that. We can agree with some of his proposals on education and a few other things. What about the um, uh, the idea of the 100 megawatt uh, hydro plants? Well, it's a, it's a uh, somewhat foolish idea because uh, hydro has plenty of incentives as it is. There's nothing holding hydro back in the state of Maine, so there's no reason to uh, give uh, developers uh, additional cash for what they're doing anyhow.